I think it's time we talked about Andy's medicine. Hi folks and welcome to today's vlog. Goodness me, I haven't done this for a while. Um, not just wear a t-shirt with no motif on, I don't care for it at all, but also coming out here at quarter to nine in the evening with only a vague idea of a topic that I want to talk to you about and actually nothing recorded. For, I mean, actually that's not strictly true. I have recorded little bits earlier in the day. I recorded a little bit of me and Lucy sat in the car after I picked her up from work. I recorded a little bit of us cleaning up the garden, doing a bit of tidying. But really, I've not recorded very much today at all. And the reason, there's a couple of reasons. Firstly, we are having a big spring clean in October at the moment. Um, we've been doing it all weekend. We've, as, as you'll know, if you've been watching the vlog for a little while, we rent our house, we're privately rented. We've been here a long time. I've lived here 15 years but it is a privately rented house and every now and again we do have our letting agent come around and do an inspection of the house. So that means, right, it's our cue to tidy and we have spent the last couple of days tidying. The inspection's not for a few more days. It's still not close to perfect. They are pretty understanding. We have a nice little arrangement where they're not too hard on us and we're not too hard on them, which is why sometimes stuff takes a little while to get fixed. But we're happy with that arrangement because it means we don't pay very much rent and they don't get in a they don't get in a big hissy fit that it's always a little bit untidy and stuff so i think it works they think it works we're fine but we do like to have a clean up for it and the garden in particular is something that we had to clean up so we've cleaned up the garden we've cleaned up inside the house and it, like i say it's a process that's going to carry on for a few more days we are part way through decorating amy's bedroom as you all know so that's that's not going to that's not going to be done before the inspection, but ah, it'll be fine. But that's not what I wanted to talk to you about anyway. I think it's time we talked about Andy's medicine. F firstly, before we get too much further into it, thank you for all the suggestions and messages of support that we've had about the medication. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the last few days vlog. Long story short, Andy's medication is fluoxetine. The fluoxetine that he's been taking for nearly a year and a half now to help with his anxiety it's the it's the medication that we credit for getting him back to school it's the medication that we credit for the huge progress that he's made over the last year or so it's it's not made anymore that particular brand he was always very very particular about it he would only take this one particular brand and it took us a long time to find a version of the medication that he'd actually take when he was when he was first prescribed it we worked through two or three different brands while we tried to find one that just didn't immediately make him vomit and then even when we found it we had to start off with the tiniest little tiny squirt in the end of the syringe, way below the dose that he was actually prescribed, because if we gave him any more than that, he would just gag, he would vomit, it would come straight back out again, he'd spit it out. So we started tiny and worked up over a period of months, and I'm not even exaggerating, it was probably four or five months it took us to work up from next to nothing to the two mil that is in the syringe. And it, I mean, for anyone who's used these little med medicine syringe, they're like the ones that you get in Cowpol, where if you have a, a kid's dose of Cowpol, I think is a full syringe, which is five mil. Andy has less than half that as his full dose of his fluoxetine. And it took us four or five months to work him up to that. So even the one that he agreed to take, he never really liked and that's why we have to bribe him with a can of Dr Pepper and he literally has the medicine squirted in and it's straight in there of Dr Pepper. It has to be open before he even takes his medicine or else otherwise he just won't be able to keep it down. He despises the stuff. By far and away the biggest suggested, the most regular comment we've had over the last few days that we haven't really addressed in a vlog. I have tried to reply to some of the people who've said it down in the comments. I've pinned a couple of comments explaining why it's not possible. But so many people have said can you not just put the new medicine into the old medicine bottle and just tell him it's not changed? And long story short, no, we can't. We did think of that, but only for a moment. We've not even tried it out. And the main reason that we can't is because it's not just that it's the packaging that's changed. It's not just that the brand name has changed. This isn't like Coke and Pepsi, where to me, they're pretty much, they're, they're the same. If you put Coke in a Pepsi can and tell me it's Pepsi, I'm gonna believe you. Uh, this is like putting 
hot chocolate in a Coke can and telling me it's Coke. It's just not. It's a different flavour. It's a different colour. It's a different consistency. This is completely different stuff. The stuff he's been given now is much thicker. It's really sticky. It's sickeningly sweet smelling. It, I mean, it does just smell really unpleasant. It sticks to the side of the syringe. It is obviously completely different a completely different recipe of the same medication it still has the same active ingredient in it it's still got fluoxetine in it but what it's mixed in with this, the actual syrup is completely different he wouldn't fall for it and in the unlikely event that we ever did manage to source some of the original supplier again which seems really unlikely we went to three different pharmacies who each have multiple suppliers that i stood over them while he rang their suppliers nobody stocks this brand anymore and it seems pretty clear that it just doesn't exist so but you know there's always the internet there's always suppliers changing who they get their medication from it might be that a month down the line magically the brand that he is happy to take reappears in the suppliers and we're able to get it again it might just be a short-term shortage and if we've messed with it by putting some different medication in their bottle and him thinking that that one's horrible as well all we're doing there is burning that bridge so that we can never go back and try and back with the original medication again because he just won't trust us. It's one of the reasons he doesn't trust us with his crisps because years ago he used to quite happily eat his crisps out of a bag. He'd have no issues at all. He'd eat all of the crisps. But then Walker's crisps got more expensive and more expensive and more expensive and we thought we could be clever by taking a, a couple of, like we had like half a dozen empty Walker's bags and when he asked for crisps, we would go into the kitchen to fetch the crisps, which involved opening up um, Tesco crisps and pouring them into his Walker's crisp bags. And immediately on the first time he did that, he took a first bite and was like, that's weird, and tried to nibble at a couple of them and just ended up throwing them away. And we only managed to do this for like half an hour before we just had to go out and buy him some more crisps. He did not fall for it at all. But all it's done is it's meant for the last however many years now, he won't eat crisps directly out of the bag. He won't eat crisps where he hasn't opened the bag himself or seen the bag be opened. He completely inspects the bag all over before he'll eat them to make sure it is exactly what he's expecting. It's why when they changed the barcode number on it, like a year ago, if you remember the issue we had with that when they changed nothing about the bags to the to the to my eyes, the bags were completely identical, but they changed the numbering on the barcodes and he wouldn't eat out of the ones that had the wrong barcode on because they were wrong. And we caused him to obsessively hone in on the crisps and we've, we made a rod for our own back and we're still caught, we, there's still problems with crisps now where he's not eating them all, he's throwing loads away, he won't eat out of a bag. You saw recently when we were out and about, Anna having to hand him crisps one by one because we didn't have a plate with us and he won't eat out the bag anymore. So we don't want to cause that with his medication. It was hard enough to get him to start taking the medication in the first place. Like I say, a long, long process to build up the medication to where it was. And it was working and it was brilliant and we had a great year's run at it. And it looks like the honeymoon is over and we kind of just have to start again. And it is completely different medicine he is trying he's re he knows that the medicine makes him feel better but at the same time he absolutely hates it he's keeping little bits of it in his mouth he's trying to swallow it and then it's kind of dribbling back out again he's spitting bits he's choking he hates it but he is fighting to try and keep it down at the same time. And we, I think we are very slowly making progress. We don't want to drop down to a tiny little fraction again and build him up the way we did before, unless it becomes clear we absolutely have to, because that means seriously lowering his dose for months, which has its own complications attached to it. Fluoxetine isn't the kind of medication that you just stop taking or you just take a, an eighth of the dose without weaning yourself down to it, it will have side effects, it will cause complications doing that. So we're kind of at the moment persevering with giving him the medication, the same syringe you used to use and trying to throw a Dr. Pepper down him immediately afterwards. Um, so that's why we can't put it in a different bottle. We also can't mix it in with the drinks. We tried that before, back before we were able to get him taking medication. Um, we tried 
uh, we tried putting it straight into his drink and he would just take one sip and pour the drink away or put the drink in the bin. We actually tried putting the two mil in the syringe and filling up the remaining three mil with Dr. Pepper. So he had five mil in there and we thought, well, it's going to be overwhelmingly Dr. Pepper. And he was sick everywhere the one time we tried to do that. I think we tried to do that with, with some vitamin supplements as well. We don't learn. And every time we try that, it makes him sick. He won't take tablets at all. We've tried that before. He suffers really bad hay fever in the summer. He will not take hay fever medication because he can't take tablets, won't take tablets, and just despises the liquid hay fever medication. So he just suffers through the summer with his hay fever. So we can't mix it in with a drink. We can't mix it in with food because he doesn't have any wet foods at home. We can't send the medication to school. We can't rely on school to give him his medication either because of reasons that you're all aware of if you watch regularly. So we are kind of in a really difficult situation where he's really, really struggling. He's unhappy, he's on edge, he's very, very tense. He is, he's wearing us down as well, which seems like a, it's a really horrible thing to say as a parent, especially as we're just starting a, a half term where he's gonna be with us throughout most of the next sort of 10 days or so, apart from when he's off at his respite and when we're off down in London. But he's, he, he, it's hard work at the moment. I'm not sugarcoating it. It is difficult for all of us at the moment. Andy's really struggling and me and Anna are like, it, things are tense because Andy is really, really pushing us and pushing our buttons. And it's, it's, it's just a hard time. Nothing makes him happy. And because of that, we're constantly stressed out trying to think of a solution both to the medication thing but also to how we can just cheer him up for a little while we said for the last two days vlogs in a row that we were hoping to go to the cathedral he wants to go to the cathedral when we say it's time to go to the cathedral he doesn't want to go to the cathedral when we say time to get clothes on he doesn't want to get his clothes on he doesn't want to go out but he also doesn't want to be here he doesn't want to be upstairs he doesn't want to be downstairs he's really really struggling I think it is a bit of a blessing that it is half term this week because it means it's not going to disrupt school. He already knows he's got a week off school on holiday and hopefully we'll be back into the new medication routine before he goes back and he'll just go back really comfortably. I think if he was supposed to be at school tomorrow, that would be a real struggle. When we went to do the pumpkin thing on Wednesday last week, he got in from school. Even though we'd warned him that we were going to be doing it, he got in and all he wanted to do was put his pyjamas on. He just sat on the sat on the stairs and screamed at us that he just wanted to put his pyjamas on. And we had to then bribe him with going to the church, going to see the bells, going to the cathedral this weekend, which we've not ended up doing because he didn't want to do it in the end. And it's just... <laughs> it's. I, I don't want to keep repeating myself. It's just been a challenge. It's been a really difficult time. So thank you for all the supportive messages that we've got. We will find a way through. We always do. We've had far bigger difficulties and far bigger battles than this before. Um, we always overcome them. We will overcome this one. You know Andy is a, is a, is a fighter in more ways than one. Um, but you know, you've, you've all seen the incredible improvement he's made over the last year. Most importantly, he recognises it as well. He knows he prefers being the way he's been over the last year because he's really trying with the medication and that's not we couldn't have said that a year ago a year ago he just didn't want it it was disgusting and he would refuse and we would, it would be a fight to get it in his system now he wants to take it he tries to take it he keeps as much of it in his mouth as he possibly can and it just pushes him a little bit too far and some of it comes back out or he gags or chokes or coughs or we've not had vomit yet which is a good thing we'll get there he'll get there and like I say, chemically, the actual active ingredient is the same stuff. So as soon as we can get back into a routine of taking it again, we should level off back where we were before. When we went to see CAMS, like less than a month ago, I think, there was the discussion about whether we felt we needed to increase the dose because he's put on like 10 pounds since May. There is scope because the, the dose size is based on his weight. So there is scope to increase the dose. We said we don't think we need to at the moment. We didn't need to at the moment but we would contact them if we felt that that was needed. So once we can get him back into a routine of taking it regularly, if things are still difficult, then we get back in touch with CAMS and we look to increase the dose a little bit. And we're reliably informed that that will just level him back out again. So it could be a combination of factors, the fact he's spitting some of it out, but also maybe his dose is just slightly too small now anyway. So 
we'll keep fighting it but I just wanted to put this video out there partly because filming what I've just described doesn't make for a very fun vlog I know this hasn't been a fun vlog but I don't want to film Andy having a hard time I'm sure you don't want to see Andy having a hard time and I think it's probably best if for a few days while we work through this we let him come on camera when he wants to but if he doesn't want to be on he's not on you saw in yesterday's vlog he was on for maybe 10 seconds and said he wanted the vlog to end so we just turned it away from him and that was that and today he hasn't been interested at all so I've just kept the camera out of the house pretty much it's been out here in the garage so yeah we'll uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep battling away we'll get there Thank you for the supportive messages. Thank you for the suggestions. I hope you understand now why we can't do the things that you've suggested. And we'll just keep plugging away and we'll keep you informed with how we get on. If you have enjoyed that, enjoyed seems like a weird word for today, but you know, thumbs ups help regardless. So even if you didn't enjoy it, if you made it through to the end, it's probably worth a thumbs up and it would help out the video and the channel massively if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs. And thank you very much for watching.